cleaning the sanitation area. It's a bright morning. Jim's mother is done showing Jim how to make a bed as well as a mitered corner. Jim is about to go out when his mother remembers they have discussed cleaning all the essential areas of the house except the sanitation area. He calls him back to the house. Hey Jim. Yes. Come here. Can you take a wild guess what's on my mind? Mom, I'm not a prophet. That is why I called it a wild guess. Anyway, we haven't discussed one important area of the house. Guess which one? Mm, the toilet? Yes, the sanitation area, which includes the toilet and the bathroom. For instance, a lot of water is used in the bathroom, making it damp and may have a bad smell if not cleaned and well ventilated. So, how do you ensure it's always clean and well ventilated? Good question. Let us start with daily cleaning of the bathroom. Begin by opening the windows, collect the equipment required, remove dirty linen for laundry work, take the towels and mats outside to dry, mm -hmm. wash the tubs with warm soapy water, then rinse with warm followed by cold water and dry with a clean cloth. Are you following? Yeah, I am following. Good, because you will do this on your own. Moving on, wipe and shine the walls, curtains and water pipes with a clean dry cloth. Scrub the shower floor thoroughly. Mop the rest of the bathroom floor. Replace the towels and mats. Clean and store equipment used. I guess what follows is weekly cleaning. Yep. Proceed as follows. Open the windows. Collect equipment. Remove dirty linen and towels. Clean bath mats. High dust. Clean walls. Mirrors and windows accordingly. Hmm, nothing new. Soak the soap dish in warm water and scrub to remove all that and soap and then rinse and dry well. Scrub the basin, bathtub or shower, clean the floor according to type, replace towels, soap dish and floor mats. Then finally, clean and store equipment used. Well, well, well. This can only apply to our type of bathroom. What about those in the village? You mean the bath shelters? Mm -hmm. They are common in homes with no running water and is therefore built away from the main house but close to the pit latrines. How far away from the main house? Far enough to keep off the bad smell. While cleaning a bath shelter, collect the required equipment and materials, high dust, Clean walls according to type, clean the soap dish, scrub the floor with brush and warm soapy water if cemented, clean the drainage thoroughly, then rinse with hot, then cold water. Leave the room to dry, clean and disinfect the drainage outside. Finally, clean the equipment used and store appropriately. Fine. We go to the toilet. They go to the pit latrine. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Very right. Toilets are found in houses with running water, just like ours. They should be well ventilated to remove bad smell. They should be cleaned to keep off flies and other disease-causing germs. You have cleaned our toilet before, right? Severally. Why? Go ahead and discuss the steps you used. Hmm. All right. I opened the windows, collected the equipment needed, uh -huh. flushed the toilet, poured cleaning powder with the disinfectant into a basin, and leave for a few minutes. I cleaned the cistern, toilet seat, and uh, toilet handle by wiping with a clean cloth wrung in warm soapy water. I rinse with clean water into which a disinfectant has been added, and then I leave it to dry. Then what? Then, I scrub the inside of the toilet bowl using a toilet brush. I ensure all stains are removed and flush the toilet again. I mop the floor, rinse and dry thoroughly. Then, I clean the equipment used 
and store away. That's it. Excellent. And lastly is the pit latrines in the village. Like the bath shelters, they are common where there is no running water. They are usually dug far away from the house to keep off bad smell and flies. Some have earthen, cemented, or wooden floors. Cleaning hands should be according to the surface material. But most importantly, cleaning must involve the use of a disinfectant. And do you clean the inside of the pit? Tricky question. Anyway, you can smoke the pit by lowering burning twigs or grass into the hole. This kills flies and maggots. Ensure you cover the latrine with a clean lid. Any more queries? Mm -mm, I'm done. All right, you're free to go away. Okay.